What's up? What's up, live? What's going on? It's Fabio. All right, you guys. All right, all right, all right, all right. How's everything? How's everything? How's everything? How's everything? All is well, all is well. How's everything with everybody? So I picked up this week, well, and then, yeah, and then Friday, I picked up two big contracts. So I'm extremely excited about that. Last week I went live and I told you guys about we're doing the hotels and we're working on that. Man, we tapped into that market. And when I tell you, I feel like the market is wide open it's absolutely exploded for us in a good way. I feel like this is something that I should have been doing, but I wasn't uh, thinking that way at all in, in, in that regard. We also picked up another bigger, uh, hey, who, let me see, who is this? Let me sit back kind of far. Kelsey, how are you? How are you? And we also picked up another uh, big corporation company. We all would know the name if I mentioned the name. But it's been very, very, uh, very, very good, man. Um, I get a lot of emails and uh, stuff like that, and 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 people telling me, "Hey, Fabio, it's it's just rough. It's just rough." And like I say on down there, every video, guys, you just got to stay persistent. Okay. The the thing that really separates me, guys, is I don't have a magic formula. I wish I could tell you and sit here and tell you, "Look, guys, I got this formula. It works for me." Uh, it only works for me. That's not the case. It's not the case at all. I'm a little, hang on guys, let me turn the air on. I, I'm a little, uh, let's see here. I'm a little uh, overheated. But look guys, I wish I could tell you that there was some magic formula that I use. It's absolutely not. The thing that separates me from most, and I, I got other entrepreneur friends in, in regards to commercial cleaning. They do uh, uh, residential cleaning or have a power washing company, window cleaning. And they say, well, Fabio, you make this thing like look so easy, right? It's not that. It's just behind the scenes. People don't see what goes into it. People don't see the calling, the emailing, right? I have to show up, right? And I'm telling you, like this whole week, this week alone has been absolutely tiring for me. It doesn't show up now because obviously I have, it ended with a bang, right? I picked up two new contracts. Uh, I haven't let Corona stop me. Come on guys, let's get these likes up. Um, so I feel compelled, I'm feeling myself today. Um, I, I think I'm a, I don't know what I can do. To, I mean, everything is kind of still closed, but I think I'm finding something to do. I don't know, I might try to shoot to the park and I don't know buy a bag of balloons, blow them up and let them go or something. I don't know what I want to do, but I'm absolutely ecstatic the fact that I was able to get these contracts due to persistent and execution. You know, my favorite wrestler, Bret Hart, he has this thing, he says he's the excellence of execution, right? And the way I break that down is he's excellent at executing, right? So that's what made him so great as a wrestler, right? And uh, I, I think I got that same type of vibe. Maybe it's a heart thing. I don't know. It could be a heart thing, right? It could be a Canada thing. He's from Canada too, right? But anyway, guys, like I said, I just, if you got some questions, I'll let it entertain. I didn't really have a topic to talk about per se. Um, a few people emailed me in regards to, they said they're not getting paid on time. Some people um, email me what's better, employees or uh, subcontractors. Uh, what else I get? Some people ask me, Fabio, break down visibility. Break down visibility. What you mean? By visibility, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you guys in on on this book. I haven't finished reading it yet. I think you should pick it up. Uh, it's very direct, very precise information. And hang on one second, guys. See, Fabio looking good in the blue. It's actually green. It looked blue, but it's green. It's uh, like mint green. But thank you, Kelsey. I greatly appreciate you. Let me see what the comments are saying here. 
when you started out, did you? Yep, I did it, James. Yep, I did the clean it myself, James. Absolutely, that's the best way to start out, as far as I'm concerned. So, here guys, I'm, I'm always traveling with books. You always hear me talk about books. I actually read these things, right? I read them in my downtime. I don't read as much as I should, but I do read these things, okay? And that's the, the look, when I tell you there's a lot of hidden gems in books, if you guys don't pick up books and read, at least get the audio version, right? I'm not a big audible guy because I get distracted easily when I'm listening to something, right? The slightest little thing could throw my attention. But when I'm reading something, I seem like I retain it a lot better. I understand it a lot better when I'm listening to it. My mind sometimes drift and drift back in, right? So, but this book right here, this guy right here, David uh, Merriman Scott, legendary. I would suggest that you guys get it. And the title is the new rules, uh, the new rules of marketing and PR, right? He talks about some of everything: social media, online video, mobile applications, blogs, news release, and viral marketing uh, to reach buyers directly. I mean, he talks about this is the sixth edition right here. He's wrote many editions of this book. It's a pretty good book, okay? But again, guys, I'm a you know 50 cent. I'm listening to the audio book now uh, for 50, but I haven't really tapped into the book but so far the audio book is great okay so again this is get out uh get out of your own way you know and even as a like a motivator myself and you know being able to go out there sometimes i am in my own way i'm hard on myself i'm virgo sometimes we like that right really really hard on ourselves but i'm really really hard on myself because i don't like to lose right i don't like to lose whatsoever come on guys let's get those likes up i really appreciate it if you have questions throw them in i don't really have a topic i just wanted to kind of celebrate with you guys i did pick up two big contracts this week uh one was the hotel last week you remember me telling you i'm waiting on some emails to come back i'm doing some you know uh some some check-ins or whatever i'm, I'm kind of checking into it or whatnot i did get a response back okay so and the thing about hotels is they own a lot of subsidiary companies. In other words, it's like these big umbrella, right? Big conglomerate. And then they have these little companies under it. You understand? So, like I say, you can capitalize on that, guys. You can capitalize on their vendors, right? You do such a great job. They can refer you to, and that's how you grow business. That's how I'm able to amass my business, right? It's not easy. I, I stay determined. I think outside of the box. Right. I don't watch a lot of YouTube videos. I no longer really watch no cleaners like myself. Right. I feel like I know enough. I don't have to watch no one else. Right. Um, I don't feel like I know everything, but I know enough. Right. But I would tell you, read some books. OK, read some book, guys. If it's something that you're not too fond of or you or you don't know a lot about, get a book. Even if it's a, 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 a audio book, you can listen to a book order that get it for free for free download whatever you can take advantage of this stuff take a lot take advantage of this stuff okay i'm forever ordering books off of amazon or the bookstore you know when i can get into the bookstore they're closed now but i'm always ordering stuff off of amazon so this is just kind of giving you guys a this book here uh the truth about the bit uh the truth about business Exposing the truth that the top 1% doesn't want you to know, okay? So, I don't know if there's any tips or secrets in here. I haven't really jumped in here, but I keep them on me, right? And PR. <laughs> As my sister would say, Fabio, you're an attention whore, right? So, But I love being visible. Visibility is the best way. When people know who you are, they tend to deal with you a little different, right? And I tell you guys all the, you know, all the time whether you're going to have the decals on your car, whether you're gonna have, you know, that's why I said run your business like a presidential campaign, right? Always be marketing, always be networking, always be telling people about yourself. As much as we don't like Donald Trump, right? He has this one thing uh, that he always says in business. He say, if you don't tell people about your success, 90, 90% of the time they won't know about your, they won't know about your success. Something along those lines, right? So when you hit a home run, tell people, let people know that you know, you're doing big things, you're making moves, okay? Um, because that, that kind of does something to your psyche, right? And then in return, they tend to, you know, might want to check you out and see what you're doing, see if you're really top shit in your, in your area. Hello, how you doing? 
Um, Fabio, Exonic, because I feel like it's too late to market this effective. It's never too late. It's never too late. The thing is, if it's not working the way that you think that it should work, you can always add a twist to it. Always have an irresistible offer, right? You have an irresistible offer. Whereas everybody else might be pricing it a little too high, you could take the the Walmart uh, stand, right? Walmart, you know, they they make up stuff in in, in volume. They don't make it up in uh, 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 in uh, per item, right? They build a billion dollar inter, uh, enterprise, right? A billion dollar company, but they make it up in volume. They don't make it up in we selling you this high ticket item. Yes, they have TVs and video games and stuff and electronics and guns and different things yes they have these different things in there but they make it up in a volume okay but if you can have an irresistible offer let me see how do we price this effective solution it's expensive right well that's the thing that's the thing like when i first started doing the fogging right i wasn't doing fogging before this whole covid stuff i had some machines and i knew what it was and that type of thing in the event that i had to do it right now the time come that I had to do it, I really had to, to be honest, do some research about it. To do some research, how should I price this thing by the hour? Should I price this thing per job, right? So since I usually do flat rate with my commercial cleaning business because it makes sense unless I'm doing some of the bigger accounts, right? Like the hotel chain that I just got, we're gonna do that by the hour or the other big company, right? That we just got, man, I'm really, really pumped about this stuff. I'm really, really excited about it. So you probably can feel that enthusiasm. That's why I decided just to go live. Uh, I'm not in my section again in another hotel. We're gonna kick ass, right? So, uh, but anyway, like I say, um, you wanna have a irresistible offer. Um, just be very, very consistent with it, right? Um, be, be personable. A lot of people that I talk to in commercial cleaning, they don't they don't want to they don't want to talk to anybody right they don't want to you know if they can email something versus talk to you they rather just email it right because they are nervous they are nervous they never done this before they are nervous they don't want to talk to anybody they don't want to pick up the phones because they don't want to be told no they don't want to do door to door they you know don't want to do any mailings because they're not sure if their marketing material is right that's why I say bring some books you know, you, we got Dan Kennedy. Dan Kennedy is a great author, right? Uh, if you guys get his BS uh, uh, series, you got a different BS, no BS series. If you guys look up Dan Kennedy, he got different no BS books, right? You can look it up on Amazon. Man, that's how I learned a lot about marketing. I'm not as uh, uh, online savvy. I'm better now, right? Because I have somebody that does it on my team and he shows me along the way right so now i'm getting a little bit more savvy i understand the online and how to do facebook ads and uh, uh how to be able to rank you know get myself ranking without paying in a, a google algorithm certain words and same thing with the youtube i'm kind of learning the youtube algorithm he says it's changing the youtube algorithm is changing more frequent than ever before right be just because there's so much going on um, so it's a lot of markets that I'm not interested in in terms of being a YouTube uh, sensation and having a YouTube ads and it's different like that. My thing for YouTube is I really just want to share information with you guys and then let you guys take that and make it work for you. Okay. Again, guys, I know I'm all over the place with it, but like I say, when I don't understand something, I hit uh, Google quick, right? I'll pick up the, this phone, right? it's on charge but I'll pick up the phone and I'll go straight to Google how to do this how to do that right if I can't find it on Google then I'll go to YouTube as a second alternative let me see Grant Cardone is great Grant Grant is uh, overly hyped to, to, to be honest it's just my personal opinion and I like him but it's just the stuff that Grant talk about is uh, if you already got millions of dollars right the average person won't be able to do what Grant says to do, right? Because the average person don't have millions of dollars to start with. You know, um, actually, uh, Grant has a lot of hypocritical information out there. Like if you really tap into Grant and really look into Grant, uh, he says one thing on his podcast and his, his show, and then his books uh, say something else. I have several of Grant books, 
and then he might say something at the 10x conference that contradicts something that he's already said and then he'll just say well hey man you gotta it it's the market man you gotta it's the market but really he's just kind of up and down all over the place but because he had millions of dollars and he's pretty flashy with how he moved um it becomes attractive to people like you and i just the average person right that don't have millions of dollars so uh but i'm not trying to shit on him or nothing like that uh i just think sometimes he's overhyped a little bit let me see here Fabio, i texted you yesterday also i purchased uh okay uh, i didn't get you a text yesterday uh actually depending on when you text i don't know if i had the phone or if my assistant had the phone but let me see fabio do you have pricing list i can purchase from you uh yeah if you if you're looking for just um pricing in regards to just like commercial cleaning um i have a pricing list for a window cleaning now uh, but you know i don't really promote it but i would if you need it then I'll, I'll sell it to you and i give it to you at a discount just because i don't offer it like that anymore right so that's why you don't hear me talk about paperwork or coaching or anything like that but if somebody emailed me and they dead ass serious about it then I'll go ahead and you know work something with them. I'd rather work something with you and have you win than shut you down and have you like frustrated as to what to do. So just go ahead and email me in the subject line. Go ahead and put a uh, pricing list. Put your name and phone number in there um, because if I check it, I want to call you back. I, I never email ever. So if you get an email, most likely it's going to be Jasmine. I'm really too busy and I really like to talk to you so I can convey my message really, really quick, get it off to you and then let you make a decision okay as to what you want to do and that's on anything not necessarily if you're buying something from me or you you know whatever so if you got a question or it's uh, uh you know something on and you want to talk to me the best way to do it is leave your name and telephone number and email so when jasmine get it she'll feed it to me now i personally give you a call okay so uh but yeah just email me put pricing list or whatever pricing info uh, uh, estimate info in the subject line, whatever they, whatever you want to put, and uh, I'll, I'll give you a call and uh, give you a good deal on it. Um, let me see. Do you want me to go ahead? Uh, yeah, you can send it to the email. What you mean did I take consignment or did I get cash on hand? You mean did I allow the client to pay me? What what are or what are we talking about? Are we talking for fogging? Are we talking for just general cleaning? Um are we talking for just services that I subcontract out? What what are we talking about here? Let's see here. Okay, Kelsey, we, we'll see you later, definitely. No, well, sell your, sell your service, not your product. No, sell yourself. When people like you, they love to do business with people that they, that they like. You know, when, that's why I tell you guys to be visible, always be out there promoting your, your stuff, promoting your, yourself. But I feel like if you can sell yourself, and you become likable to the to the end user on whatever it is on in online or uh everybody doing this only fans thing now and they doing some of everything on only fans right i'm i'm not the only fan type of guy but um i know people that have that and you, essentially what they got to do in order to keep you subscribe and keep you coming out of your money right they have to keep selling themselves However, whatever service or product, whatever they're doing on there, they have to keep selling themselves, right? So again, um, you know, sell yourself, um, become a little bit more knowledgeable about marketing uh, and, and, and selling, right? 
um, there's a lot of great books out there. And I, when I say great books, I'm talking about the godfathers of it. I'm talking about your, uh, not necessarily Grant is have some stuff, but like I say, uh, it's a lot of fluff in between Grant stuff. Um, but I'm talking about, like I like the Wolf of Wall Street. I watch his podcast here and there. I don't get a chance to watch it as frequent as I like. But he has great information. He's great at persuasion, right? Being pro uh, uh, personable, right? He talks about the uh, tonality. You guys hear me talk about that. Body language, right? And I learned a lot of that from a straight line system. I told you I was a big fan of that. I bought a straight line system years ago. And I guess to some degree, I still use it, right? So, uh, but the Wolf of Wall Street, I think he's a great guy. Uh, Ted Nichols, uh, Nicholas, Ted Nicholas, um, he's a great guy. Um, who else I like? I like Jay Abraham. You guys can look at Jay Abraham, Dan Kennedy. I talked about Dan Kennedy uh, already. Uh, these are some of the, the old school guys that you can really learn a lot of great valuable information from. Okay, and there's a lot of other people out there. You have your Grant Cardones, you have your uh, Gary Vander, Gary V, Gary Vanderchuk, right? Um, he has a lot of great stuff. Um, it's, it's not always uh, easy to adapt to. I mean, the way he explained it, you can make money, but it's not always easy to do, you know. So, uh, you know, like I say, some of these older guys I named, they actually have books and audio books and different things like that. Um, you can kind of really look it up on YouTube and listen to it for free. Or you can buy the books pretty much dirt cheap now on Amazon. So get a lot of selling books or, or, or you know, how to sell, marketing. Uh, Jeffrey Gitmore, that's another one. Uh, he has the sales Bible. Um, he also has the little, what is it, the little red book, the little black book for selling something like that just look him up online his name is Jeffrey Gitmore I think it's G-I-T-M-O-R-E if I'm not mistaken um, but a lot of these guys man if you put yourself in a selling you know or, or you know how to sell a service how to sell a product you just like look that stuff up you know a lot of valuable free information on the internet where you don't even have to purchase but again I'm a big advocate of having books uh, you know um, you know, I, I I just love books. You know, I'd rather have it and not need it at the time than need it and can't find it because it's out of print, right? And I'd have ran into that a lot, right? Some of the older books. So, um, yeah. So let me go ahead. You guys have any questions? Let me see here. When you first started out, in your cleaning business, did you collect cash? No, no. Uh, I had two clients out of my entire life they wanted to pay cash and for them I did cash but no I don't do the cash um, I like to have a, a uh, I like to have a uh, a paper trail with it right so uh, majority of my clients the most of my clients uh, pay via check they pay check and then as I kind of grew on or whatever, I started accepting credit cards where they could pay me uh, via credit card. Um, now we just automatically bill it, right? So we don't even have to, we still send them the invoice, but we don't necessarily have to wait on the payment. It's just when it's due, we just go ahead and bill it. And that's for residential too. You can do the same thing with residential for my residential people. I'm in Canada, price be good here. Uh, the price, well, actually we just launched into Toronto, so I don't know what part of Canada you're in, but I'll be able to help you with that. I have a Canadian version we actually working on now, um, of the pricing list. So, and that's just because I just recently, uh, over the last couple of months, just launched into Canada. Everything is kind of slow now because this whole Corona thing, so things are shut down. Uh, Canada is a lot better than America in regards of uh, uh, controlling things, but uh, with that, with that virus, but uh, yeah, I will be able to help you with that. Um, it depend on uh, you know, like what province, because different provinces, it'll 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 be different. You know, Ex the expenses are are different in different provinces. So, you.
You and Mark Mary. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Guys, got any more questions here? Yeah, guys, when you're pricing your service, it's whatever you want to, it's whatever you want to charge, right? It's whatever you want to charge. It's not, you know, it's not as big. I mean, you can look up the going rate. So if you're doing fogging or if you're doing just general cleaning, if you're doing residential cleaning or whatever, you can find the, the, the going rate in your area. But you can play around with prices. Like in the beginning, I didn't necessarily know like how to price, right? I wasn't this big pricing professional where I had everything you know but I, I start you know I took a, a, a huge loss in the beginning because I was considered a, a lot lower oh uh, I picked up a, a corporation and a hotel chain so um and, and it's crazy because we don't necessarily interfere with the housekeeping but uh it's a beautiful setup that i that i have so it's a hotel chain where we have uh x amount of hotels in my area so it's not just one hotel um and that's in regards of doing just like basic fogging disinfecting um just basic stuff but i'm kicking ass in regards of how much i i charged them so um, even the paperwork for that was a little different. Uh, you know, they check your insurance. They check if you're bonded. It's a lot of, it's a lot more to it than just you know a dental office or a chiropractor office, right? So um, that was the hiccup. And then I had to talk to four different people before if they decided they was going to give me a try, right? So and that was from last between last week and this week. So I'm really really excited about that. Um, I, I can't stress enough I'm really excited about that and it allowed me to bring some people back to work you know I have some people that um, you know their, their site was temporarily closed they, they're gonna reopen but some people got to collect unemployment um, just going through it so I'm really really excited that uh, it allowed me to be able to bring some people back that's great man You must be extreme. You must be uh, extremely new to my channel. Um, I talk a lot about that in some of my older videos. If you can just go back and watch that, because I dedicate certain videos for certain topics, and I talk a lot about that. But I will tell you how I do it. I net 30 or net 15. Okay. So I send the 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 invoice in usually between the 28th and the 30th of each month. So I try to allow maybe a two to three day window before it's actually due, okay? So, yeah, so I, I try to uh, allow maybe a two to three day window before the payment is actually due. If you send it too early, then it'll get shuffled up in the paperwork or email or whatever the case is. And then by the time you're looking for the payment, they'll say they haven't received it. They received it. They don't know what they did with it. So that works for me. Other people got different ways they do it, but I'm telling you what works for me. That works for me. So I do it two to three day, uh, yeah, two to three days before it's actually due. Whether you gotta email it, whether you gotta send it in via mail or whatever, however you gotta do it, whether you personally taking it to them, you want to make sure they get it at least two to three days ahead uh, before it's actually due. At least that's my personal opinion. Okay, so when the first come, which is when it's paid out on the first, um, you'll be set to go. Right, the the check should be ready. Now I give them until the fifth of of the month to be late. So I give them between the first and the fifth, and those days in between to get the payment together. After the fifth then I do charge a late fee uh, for the service, okay? Um, and I'm really big on that. Some people let the late fee slide or they don't take they take it off. I, I don't let it slide. I'm really big on the late fee. Uh, I don't get paid late too often. Um, um, yeah, I, I just don't get paid. Uh, residential clients, we do 
we get paid after each cleaning okay um, certain people because they might have you know maybe multiple days per week we extend it out maybe to a Friday right but it'll be a weekly payout right so we wouldn't net 30 or net 15 uh, a residential client okay uh, we usually get paid right away or depending on the relationship we build with them you know certain certain things then we give them to that Friday or that Saturday type of deal to uh, to collect the payment and they're usually pretty good now they more naggy but they're usually pretty good with paying uh, at least my my clients customers whatever you want to call them so let's see here I'll charge a uh, minimum 200 per visit yep yeah that's what I say you could start I'm not sure if you're talking about the fogging uh, but yeah if you say you know 200 bucks right now you might be lower you might be higher but look the thing is is you're actually fogging dude right so all you're doing is you have a walk behind so you're just walking around walking behind you fogging things up you, you're fogging you're fogging right you're fogging you're fogging right 200 bucks for a half an hour 40 minutes whatever the case is right or you might have the you might have the standalone so you might have to stand along uh, like the halo. If you have the halo, then the halo does it for, you know, does it for you. You don't have to do it, right? So you just set the timer on the halo. You, you put the solution in first, you set the timer, you let it go, let it do what it do. You can go and do something else. You'd be in another room, if you got multiple halos, you can, you know, work it that way. Um, but like I say, you like you say, you started at 200 bucks. If you see you get some traction, keep it going. Right, the more you become, you know, you you build that business up. If you build that business up, the more you do that, the more you become credible in the industry. Right, the more you'll be able to start charging more. Now, the object of the game, I think that was James. Let me see here. Yeah, James, the object of the game is not only to just disinfect and 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 leave. The object of the game is to disinfect. And create them as a client where you can use them or, or or work with them in everyday cleaning right and just commercial cleaning and i i feel like i'm the special the specialist at that because i've been able to convert a lot of my disinfecting clients my fogging clients into just regular cleaning clients and it's beautiful like i said i have a stack some some uh people opened up we've already started cleaning for and I still have some more because it's been pushed back in my area been mandated to be, I think, until the 12th or maybe the 10th or the 10th or 12th of July before everything can start opening back up in my state. So it's a beautiful thing, guys. It's a beautiful thing. I think you guys should uh, give it a shot. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, the credit card information, yep. Yep, you can use the Square, it's, you can use an app, right? There's a lot of different ways you can do it. It used to be so hard to get a merchant account back in the day or so hard to be able to accept credit cards, but it's a lot of different ways that you guys can accept credit cards. There's apps, you can Google it, uh, you got the Square, right? There's a lot of different ways to do it now, uh, especially by phone where you just key it in, you understand? So, um, and then you have the traditional merchant account companies um that you know can set you up with it or whatever and so or supply you the terminal or set you up with an online per, uh, portal where you can kind of key it in online that type of deal but uh it's a beautiful thing um like i said credit cards work very very well because you just keep it on file like she said and then when it's time to bill it you go ahead and bill it okay the only time you need to really contact them is if it declined right but you go ahead and bill it the money is there the invoice should already be at their location. You should already make sure they had the invoice before you even bill them. So that's the cool thing about it, guys. Also, for my coaching people, uh, you know, I haven't been uh, hearing from you guys. I've had my people uh, reach out to uh, many of you, um, I personally have called some of my coaching people. I don't know if they're on this live, 
but uh, you guys need to uh, tap in with me. I want to see where you're at with it uh, because I haven't been doing a lot of coaching because I can't reach you guys. You're not responding back to me. So, uh, you know, I am concerned. Hopefully business is going good. Some of the people I'm really, really concerned about because our last conversation wasn't so uh, wasn't so thrilling because they were doing so bad. They had lost contracts because of COVID. So hopefully uh, things is, sh is shipped back and uh, your spirits is up. Uh, but I will be reaching out again probably sometime this week to you guys. Uh, but if you see this video, reach out to me. Give me a call. Shoot me a text. Okay. Let me see here. You guys have any more questions for me? I'd love to entertain them. Uh, I'm going to go give me something to eat shortly. I don't know what I'm going to eat, but I don't know. Find something. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. If you guys need me, like I say, uh, Hollywood Janitorial Serve at gmail.com. You go ahead. Hollywood Janitorial Serve uh, at, at gmail.com. Um, if it's something that you guys need and you need to purchase for, uh, from me, I'd be more than happy to offer it to you. You feel me? Um, like I say, I don't really throw it at you guys, but I wouldn't deny you something that, you know, that I know that I can help you with. Uh, outside of that, uh, yeah, just stay motivated, guys. Like I said at the top of this video, persistent plus execution equals profit, okay? But you have to stay persistent. You have to stay persistent, and that's the thing. A lot of people get told no, especially with this pandemic. It's really messing up a lot of people's head. They get told no, and then at the end of the day, they just stop altogether. And then they wait till I do a video or their favorite YouTuber person do a video. They watch the video, and then they get excited again, and then they're back at it, right? Being told no, yeah, should make you hungry. Should make you hungry. Yeah, like I say, you can start with 200, dude. You start with 200 and go from there. Start with 200 and go from there. If it if it works out and, uh, you know, you see you getting some traction, they're giving you a chance, they're giving you a shot, then go ahead, keep doing the 200 thing till you build up some type of clientele. But you don't want to just do a one-time cleaning. That's the thing. You want to be able to convey the message to them that they're going to need this on more than one occasion, at least two times uh, a month. So you can do it bi-weekly, right? So that's what? 400 bucks really, really quick for something that you only did, let's say, an hour. When the last time you made 100, 200 bucks for the hour, right? Let's say it took you two hours, right? When the last time you made, you know, typically speaking, you know, at between a ten and fifteen dollar an hour job, right? You're not making two hundred bucks, right, for two hours. So either way it goes, whether it's an hour, forty minutes, thirty minutes, two hours, whatever the case, you're still making out like a fat cat, right? You're making out pretty well. So again, I would shoot it at, start it at two hundred, like you said, give it a, a minimum base, right? Start it at two hundred bucks. Um, if you're doing a bigger building, you might price it up a little bit more. You know, if you're dealing with more square foot, if you price in a home, you can have a one size fit all type of situation for a home, or you can have a package deal. Kind of like how the carpet cleaners do. They say, well, if we clean in one room, it's going to be this. If we clean in, you know, the whole, if, if we doing carpet in one room, or we're doing carpet in, you know, four bedrooms, or and, and, and the house and we, we, we doing carpet up your stairs or whatever the case is this, this is they have these different package deals right that you can get and that's why I always tell you guys I'm a big fan of that too I haven't talked about it in a while but package deals putting in a package deal together right running your business like a presidential campaign right there's no one conventional way that you should do this you should try multiple things till you find something to hit okay and that's what entrepreneurs do they even when they have a system in place they very rarely revise the system or anything, right? If anything, they'll uh, open up a whole nother division uh, that works in conjunction with what, whatever they're already doing, right? They open up a whole new little division within the organization, 
right? But they're not going to touch that system because for the fact they know that works, right? Yeah, email me. Email me. Uh, Hollywood Janitorial Serve at gmail.com. Hollywood Janitorial Serve at gmail.com. Serve is S E R V. That's how we spell it. Hollywood Janitorial Serve at gmail. Okay. So, uh, uh, like I say, guys, uh, you know, I, I wish you guys well. Um, hopefully, uh, if you guys need me, hopefully you reach out. Um, I do suggest that you don't let this pandemic get the best of you, okay? Don't let it get the best of you. Um, I totally understand uh, the mindset that some of you have about this pandemic because stuff is closed. Your life is kind of slowed down. It's at a slower pace now because you can't do the things that you would typically do. Um, uh, and, and when you do do it, you got a certain time frame to do it, right? The hours is open, short, short hours, whatever the case is. So it's just very frustrating. And then it seemed like it's taking a, lo a, a longer time to get back to just everyday living, right? Everyday life. So like I say, guys, make sure that um, you stay focused. Stay away from the news if you have to, because, uh, you know, we know that that's all they're talking about right now these days. So if you feel like you're not the type of person that would be able to handle that, I would suggest that you stay away from it. But uh, have fun. You know, have, running your business, have fun. It should be something. If you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, shit, I got to do this cleaning stuff, then you might want to find another business to uh, be a part of, right? But it should be fun for you to, uh, even when you're, you're losing, it should be like, okay, I, I got to find a way to conquer this. That's that's the way that's the way I go about to do it, right? Before when I was making the calls and I'm like when I was last week and I was telling you guys, you know, at the other hotel, I'm like, hey, we we doing the hotels. I'm waiting for some call back, some email backs, or whatever. I didn't get bombed out, right? Because they didn't tell me uh, yes right away, right? But I was able to get one deal, right? And I still got other people that I'm waiting to call back or email me, right? And then a whole another. I got a whole nother uh, corporation through networking. You know, I guess we could say I was referred to a company uh, from another person that know I do quality work, right? Quality work. And you know, it, there's nothing more excited about putting somebody to work. That's the way I look at it, right? It's good when I don't have to go in and have to do something, right? When I'm able to hire somebody to do what I really don't want to do, but I'm able to train at the highest level, execute, and make it work for me. So I feel really, really good about bringing some of my team people back. Um, I mean, you can get basic stuff. Let me see. Do you recommend using a bone call telemarketer? No, not in the beginning. Not in the beginning. Um, uh, because uh, to use outbound callers in the beginning, I feel like that it's going to be pretty pricey for you, and you might not, it might deplete your funds uh, just paying somebody to do it, especially if you don't have a well-written script or a script that you're uh, pretty fond of. Um, so I don't think that would be the best idea. I think you probably should call uh, because you have to train your outbound callers on what to say they're not going to know what to say anyway so you have to train them so uh it's definitely best to just start with you start with you hold on guys let me turn this air off okay make me a little coffee in a minute Need a coffee. You guys have any more questions for me? Residential customer are hard due to COVID nineteen. Um no, it's just take being persistent. 
I mean, it's not going to come easy on no customer, right? You got to you got to be able to sell them, right? Sell them the importance on why they should have uh, disinfecting done in their home, why they should have fogging, right? You have to sell them on that, right? So if you're not good at it, then you might want to have a flyer. You might want to have a brochure or something like that. But it has to have a great irresistible offer on there. It has to have a great selling point on there for them to pick up the phone or, or go to their, e uh, their, their you know, computer and email you, whatever the case is. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good for six and a half hours. Is registering a business important at first? Yes, very important. Uh, I would, guys, let's get these likes up. What are we doing? Come on, guys. I thought we was family. Let's get these likes up. Okay. Um, yes, uh, registering your business is very, very important. I would suggest if you can to go ahead and get it out the way. Um, even if you're just doing uh, just a local uh, uh, DBA, right? And you're not, let's say, doing an LLC or you're not trying to incorporate or whatever the case is. Yeah, you just do a sole proprietor, you know, or, or a limited uh, partnership. You know, uh, maybe it might be you and your wife or you and your husband, that type of thing, or you and your cousin or whatever, right? So you have a, just a partnership partnership. Uh, business that you that, that you set up uh but then as you grow you can always upgrade it to wherever you want to upgrade llc some type of corporation whatever the case is but i would suggest that you do it but if you don't do it i have told people just get started get started with the marketing get started with it right even with the insurance like when i first started it took me nine months to get the insurance okay um but i was so professional i was so posh i had my my company shirt and my business cards and I was so, you know, well spoken. I was able to convey my message and sell myself and sell my company and what we could do for them. That I was just praying that they didn't ask me a lot of these companies if I had insurance in the beginning, right? But I just got started. If you read about your top billionaires and millionaires in the country, they did some things that, you know, wasn't necessarily ethical, right? Um, some. They had to wind up going to the you know supreme court right they had to go to these courts and get the situation handled but they was willing to take the risk and they're still in business today i mean we're talking about your googles your your microsoft's your you know your your, your trump's your donald trump's right talking about people that almost lost their business right but they were willing to take a risk uh because they knew the outcome of them taking that risk could perhaps be favorable right so if you say, well, you know what, I don't have the money now, then start with the marketing part, right? Start marketing, start, you know, um, with the business plan. I mean, you don't have to have a detailed plan, but have the gist of what type of business you want, right? Just a detailed little plan, right? That could be in a, just a little handbook that you that you bought at Target or some Walmart, right? You kind of write it out. I want this business. I'm going to attract these different type of accounts. Uh, I'm not going to do residential. I only want to do commercial, right? Have a very precise, you know, kind of write it out, right? And then st start working towards it. You say, okay, you know what? I'm going to put a flyer together. You put a quick flyer together, right? Have your number on it. You know, uh, if you got a website, you have a website. If you don't, it's not a, a major. <laughs> okay, you have your number on it and an email perhaps. And you just have you just sell yourself. You have a selling point in there that make them pick up the phone or compelled enough to pick up the phone and call you, right? Like I say, uh, it took me nine months before I even had insurance uh, for my commercial cleaning business because, like I say, it was really pricey, and I'm like, oh man, and they're like, the premium is this, and like, what the fuck, right? So that's that. And my first contract was only three hundred bucks. I sent you an email. Okay, that was probably you that uh, came through. Either I'll check in when I get off the live here with uh, with you guys or my assistant. It goes to her phone too, Jasmine. So she might respond back while we are on or if she's busy. One of us could definitely get back to you on it. Okay, and if anybody need to email me, they just joined in the live, you just go ahead and email me no matter what it's about, whatever. Um, Hollywood, janitorial serve 
at gmail.com. Hollywood Janitorial Serve at gmail.com. Serve is S E R V. All one word. Hollywood Janitorial Serve. Okay. At Gmail. Uh, but yeah, guys, man, you know, I would love to help you. You know, uh, I've gotten people um, that's doing terrific in my coaching, even with the COVID thing. I got some. Some people that I need to just strangle, right? Uh, but uh, we, we're we going to work it out with them. I have no doubt in my mind by the time the, the coaching is up with me that they will be able to reverse whatever that whatever negative situation they have going on, right? Uh, because I'm, I'm really on par to really have a great 2020 year business-wise. Uh, I thought my 2019 was great. I feel like even with this COVID thing, it forced me to become a little bit more creative, right? So as creative as I think I am and thinking outside of the box and doing something different, this whole COVID thing forced me because either I adapt with what's going on or I get lost behind, right? Via technology, uh, online. I'm, I talk to my SEO all the time about different things about online because he's, that's his thing. He's savvy about that. Uh, me, I'm st still reading books. You know, you know, on on everything, right? Self help, get out your own way, right? PR, free PR. You know, my dad called me an attention whore. I love it, right? Because when people know who you are, they deal with you different. When you see your favorite rapper, your favorite entertainer, you you know, when your favorite business person, Grant Cardone, these type of people, they build visibility, right? They build a brand for themselves, so now they can go out and get a lot of different deals that. Uh, might be harder for you to get because they have a brand. People know who they are, right? Whether they're reputable or not, people know who they are. So people are more compelled to do business with people that they like and know who they are opposed to people that they don't know. I, I like to use law firms or lawyers all the time just to have an analogy here. There's a lot of law firms that's just in the yellow page right? or on, online, on the online yellow page, right? And then there's a lot of lawyers that we see advertised on television every single day. Every single day we see them. Sam Bernstein or, uh, you know, whoever the, the big guys is. We see them, you know, if you get hit by a bus, call such and such. If you fall down the stairs at work, call such and such. Right? So we see them on TV. What separates them from the guys that's in the yellow pages? Do it mean because they're on TV that they're better? Not necessarily. Do it mean because they're on TV, they're more educated or they're firm, you know, got the, 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 the gist as to what to do. And these other companies that's not on TV don't, not necessarily. What separate them is one company or organization did something that another company or organization wasn't willing to do or wasn't even going to try to do, right? Try not to try to, they didn't even try to develop the knowledge on how to advertise, how to buy media time and different things like this, right? And I know I'm kind of getting off and this might, might not be pertinent to a lot of people, but I'm just giving you guys an idea why it's important to be visible and, and build a self brand, right? Whether you get written up in a newspaper, whether you're on TV, whether you're using radio, right? Whether you're just distributing your flyers, distribute them like never before, right? Whether you're buying billboards on the side of the bus, you know, whether you hop on the bus and you tell, you know, you're passing out your postcards, letting people know that you exist. Hey, we, we do COVID, you know, disinfecting. If you, you you know, you might not need it, but if your grandma needed somebody, have them give us a call, right? You know, it's just being creative, you know? So, um, like I said, guys, uh, you know, I definitely want you guys to win. I do feel like if you watch some of my older videos, uh, you know, where I was giving you kind of the nuggets on the on the industry. Um, uh, giving you the nuggets on the industry as a whole. I feel like a lot of that content is valuable information. If you haven't, sometimes it might be good to go back and, and, and look at it again every quarter or so, you know, every three months or four months or so. Okay, so um, let me see here, guys. Will Facebook advertising be effective for commercial cleaning? I don't I don't believe so. But just because I don't believe it don't mean you shouldn't try it. 
okay? Excuse me, I use uh, Facebook advertising for residential clients. It works well for me. I find most micro, yeah, word of mouth is a, is a great way to go. Great way to go, knocking doors, word of mouth, um, flyers, you know. Um, the phones is a little trickier now, right? Um, it's it it's not impossible. It's just a little harder to close on the phones, right? Uh, but with this whole COVID stuff, uh, I've been able to help even with people that's in my lead generation uh, because I revised my script a little. Well, I still use the other one, but I have like a COVID script that I like to use now um, because I'm all for you know we might not be able to pick them up as a as a client for my people in my coaching, but let's pick them up for a COVID client especially if they have the means uh, to be able to disinfect. They have the foggers, the sprayers, whatever, to be able to do it. Come on, guys, let's get these likes up. Help me uh, make this video uh, discoverable through the YouTube algorithm, okay? Let's get these likes up. That's, that's no reason why we shouldn't be able to do that, okay? I don't have a Patreon and some of this other stuff that, okay. What you find work for you with commercial clients? Um, uh, flyers, I feel like flyers still work. Um, I feel like whenever you can do door to door. Only postcards, I feel like it is, it's expensive. It racks up pretty quick, but uh, I do feel like it's effective right now, especially with this COVID stuff. If you have a COVID anything where you can sell them fogging or whatever, I feel like your phone's just gonna ring. Now, I'm not saying that you're gonna clear out everybody, right? That you're gonna get all these different clients, but it will drum up a re response, right? People will acquire or inquire, right? People will inquire about your service. How does it work? What do you guys do? What do you use? Is it harmful to pets? Different things. So you need to have this stuff, you know, ready. So when you know you do your postcards and a you have that irresistible offer, of course. And if you guys need help with irresistible offers, I can help you with irresistible offers. Okay. Um, yeah, I can help you with irresistible offers to help put together your own flyer. Okay, so. And you don't even have to be the one to do it. You can use like Upwork service or you can use like Fiverr, some of these service uh, providers. Um, if you're not real crafty at designing and, um, you know, putting it together, you can have the words and you can you can have the, the script of it, right? The, the whole, the body of it. And then you submit that over to them and let them add their magic touch, right? And it costs you five, 15 bucks, something like that. It's not bad. Okay. Um, what you find work for the commercial? Yeah, like flyers uh, online, um, like Google AdSense. I find that to work. Uh, having like a, a online pre presence, period. Whether it's a website or whether you just. Uh, you're doing AdSense or whether you uh, like videos, if you use like videos. Um, I was telling one of the uh, persons in my coaching that they should, um, you know, start getting into the videos, that type of thing before and after, you know, put their name, put their company name, their company number in there on the video. So when somebody, let's say in Portland, Maine, looking for commercial cleaning services, you have enough videos that are populate through the Google algorithm where you're on the first page and they say, wow, they showed up number one through five on the first page. So let's click on them and let's watch their video and then nine times out of 10, they're gonna give you a call, right? Because you put out enough, you can't just do one video guys and say that that's enough, right? So even if you don't have a website, you can do videos. Hey guys, this is Jeffrey, such and such with ABC Cleaning. Uh, we're doing our fogging job. We have a five bedroom home to do. Uh, just give you guys a quick idea how it works. Now you're showing them, you're demonstrating your machine, right? You're showing them, okay, this is the machine that I use. 
this is how it works what what we're going to do here guys this whole job is basically going to take us approximately such and such a right you're giving them an overview as to what's going on so you're really talking to your potential client be it be a business or be it be a resident right and this is just online and then you're going to click on there you say well if you guys need you know disinfecting for your home for your business for your church for whatever building, we can definitely handle that. Please give us a call at such and such, 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 such. And I'm Jeffrey Cash, right? <laughs> Whoever, right? So, um, you know, like I say, I feel like that form of marketing do work. You know, if you have a few, uh, you know, a few uh, uh, videos out there, you do enough to populate, like I say, especially in your, you want to have your city you want to have your cleaning company and you want to have your number, your contact number. So let's say you in, uh, I don't know, Savannah, Georgia, you'll be ABC cleaning Savannah, Georgia, and then your telephone number, right? And then you kind of explain what you're doing in this video. And you just post it to any like video sharing platform, like YouTube, it could be another platform, right? But because it got your name and anything that populate with your name, your company name, or your your individual name, right? It'll populate right there, first page. And if it's, especially if it's not a lot of videos up there in your section, in your city, in your town, that's like that, you would dominate that particular section on the on the web, right? You would dominate that just for your area. Okay, so simple things like that, guys. Okay, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. Uh, give me something to eat. I just wanted to tap in. I was so excited uh, that I had a pretty decent week. Uh, we just closed the the bigger deal of the two, um, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, again, if you need to email me, go ahead. Feel free to email me at hollywoodjanitorialserve at gmail.com. Hollywoodjanitorialserve at gmail.com. I will try to come back next week. With another video the key word is try i'm really really busy got a lot of stuff going on um trying to pick up more contracts in canada so i'm going to be back and forth this summer should be totally phenomenal so if you want your summer to be like my summer stay tuned in or email me and see what we could do for each other how, how i can help you right i'm fabio hart the only person that could ever stop you from starting up your own dreams and making it to the top is you take care Yeah. <laughs>